Alrighty, Nick, last little bit, mate. I've got to tell you, for a big 12 foot trailer, it really wasn't that bad to put up. I would say, what, probably similar to a hard floor, or roughly speaking. Yeah, absolutely. Not too far off it, to be honest. Maybe a times. couple of minutes. Tell me about some of the features, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Being the Alpha trailer, uh, it's probably the most popular in terms of storage space. As you can see, there's drawers all on the side here. Yeah, mate. Yep. You can put whatever you want in those. The main one, though, is definitely this slide out drawer. At the moment, I've got it with my sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. But oh, screw You can put what any anything you like in there. It comes all the way out. I could sleep in there. <laughs> Absolutely. The other benefit, it's also on the passenger side, so you can pull up on the side of the road, pull it out, and not have to worry about cars taking it out on the way through. That's as well. a good idea. That's a little thing someone might have thought about, but that's that's a really solid idea. So the other convenience is you get to camp. The family has a 100 amp hour deep cycle battery installed. Yep. Um, so they know they've got a full power campsite when they need it. Ah, right. Mate, I've seen people give trailers a hiding before, but I've got to say, this has been one of the biggest eye-openers for me. The independent quad shock absorber coil sprung suspension on this really, really um, came in its own on those tracks. Mate, I saw it with my own two eyes. It was insane. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, the tracks we did, you can expect to have a few scratches, yeah. but um, yeah. other than that, there's nothing wrong with it at all. Well, I'm going to leave you to enjoy luxury. I'm going to go and set up my swag, mate. Good one. Enjoy. <laughs>